welcome to my channel, Sage of Aqua, and welcome back, all returning subscribers. And your energy is appreciated and welcome here on this channel. The more the merrier. So, um, I'm just doing a clarification. Uh, this is part two of um, fixed energy. Uh, we are now in the, the Earth is now in the constellation of Taurus. Um, so I think we're looking at a little bit more seriousness to the energy. Um, as I said in my first video um, in this fixed sign series, um, oh, we had a little bit of um, interruption uh, with technology um, and um, possibly some misunderstanding. Uh, so I'm just going to clarify. Um, what could be going on here so uh, I'm getting the energy of forgiveness uh, which uh, is a very profound um, concept and also I'm getting some kind of new beginning energy as well um, so I just want to have a little, little look at that um, so well, for, firstly we'll look at new beginnings um, because that came up with the first light as well so let's just see what um, the wisdom of the golden path says so it's an exciting new chapter of your life is about to unfold perhaps if you can forgive all um, that has trespassed on your feelings or on the feelings of um, people that you know and love. So over the coming weeks and days you will begin to feel a sense of renewed clarity, purpose and direction. Through a series of serendipitous events you are intuitively guided to explore new places, options and possibilities in your life. Your affirmation is, I am one with life's eternal flow. I invite all that is new and exciting into my life and embrace it. My life is full of endless possibility. I accept, accept and am grateful for all the blessings I receive today. So like the seasons of nature, your life is forever flowing and changes and you are evolving to ever greater fears of love and wisdom. Enjoy the journey and blessing that is coming your way. Okay, so I just did more clarification because I was a little bit confused about where this was going because um, it just seemed like a juxtapositioning on the exploitative energy that I got and I also got another journey card so it's possible that you may be taking a journey somewhere or that this journey is, could be the journey of the mind and it is just going to help you rise above I also got the eagle rise above and take higher perspective so even people that are doing you wrong or trying to exploit it is about trying to withdraw um, out of judgment and look at things from a higher perspective. So I have the Troll Fay here and the Troll says follow the secret signs as treasures can be found where you least expect them. So it really is about keeping an open mind especially if people are trying to manipulate and exploit. It's just about um, having a look at the whole picture because we've got, um, we got an 8 vibration, so um, the number 8 is, could also be about fit infinity, uh, so infinite possibilities, um, but it also says the 8 of spells or ones brings news, so also have a good news card. Good news is coming your way, something beautiful is about to manifest, feeling of elation like you're on a cloud, time to celebrate all the wonder and beauty in your life. So if people are exploiting, uh, it's it's time to move to a, to a higher level. You know, you really can ignore a lot of people that are, are wasting your time with selfish activities. Do not give them the satisfaction that you're interested at all in their exploits and uh, miserable um, uh, co condemnation. Okay? Um, so, yeah, the eight... Um, carries a theme of assessment and judgment. So um, the Eight of Wands reveals an adjustment 
to a faster pace of life, but also a time to reap reward. Okay, so I, I really feel here the clarification on this new beginning is that, um, that you're just going to a higher perspective. So it says here for um, the Pisces energy, I forgive everyone who needs it in my life, it is done. And to call in Kuan Yin, the wonderful Chinese goddess for compassion and mercy, ask Kuan Yin for her assistance in clearing any upset so that you can find forgiveness and move on. So it's really not, it's about not getting stuck in this energy. Um, a lot of people do. Um, so be careful that you're not uh, you're not coming at your current situation with your mind made up so keep an open mind uh, this card is a reminder that life is an unfolding mystery and you need to go into it instead of trying too hard to tick every box uh, for your dreams to come true it could well be it could well be that's what's blocking your current manifestation is that you haven't forgotten yourself or someone else or something that has happened in the past to boost your manifestation powers or give yourself and anyone else who needs it. So, um, strike a balance between all your duties and what you need to do for inner peace. So, it really doesn't matter if you've got people that are uh, condemning and um, creating all this selfish energy. Because we're going into eclipse season and, um, and, and that's, that's about... Um, having the courage to forget about the past and move through it being put back onto the right path never mind the path the past life evolves every single day so this is a yes card so if you have a question in your mind about if somebody is messing around with your energy field or um really taking too much or just being ungrateful or um a bit of a user or just um just generally just taking without asking uh, this card is a yes, so um, this is a complete change of pace as well. So both these cards is a change in pace. Was it that one? Uh, is it that one? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm thinking that might be change in pace. Um, a complete change in in in. Um, it, change of pace although as if you're heading in one direction probably guided by your ego and then here comes the divine the goddess the spirit to turn you instead to face the direction where you actually need to go um that's this card's almost identical and we've got both of them so you're going to be turning around um it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds okay so if someone is um, being really selfish in your life, then um, it looks like you're going to be able to walk away from this with a pretty clean slate. Um, I've got another new beginning card uh, from the first uh, video, First Light, a beginning of a new cycle. So um, this is the Sacred Traveller. So this card, a new day has begun in your life. You are beginning a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean, although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations or relationships that no longer empower you. Now, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. The traveller faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle has begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown. The sacred traveller, so we do have a journey here has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so that there can be a new birth in the spring. The sun rises and also sets. It's a universal dance of death and rebirth. And um, so we've got the number eight, the lemon skate as well. So this really does tune into the infinity, the life and the death um, uh, rebirth cycle. Um, there's a time to end and begin in your life. It's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. Okay, so we've also got the face the fears card. So, um, yeah, so that does actually clarify. Uh, these people, um, these exploitative, selfish people, 
they may bring up for you. Okay, it's just time to sort of give the impression that you really couldn't give a shit what they want. Okay, uh, but they don't scare you anymore. And we've also got um, assess the situation. So before you judge, and this is the um, this is the wisdom of the number eight vibration. Before you judge, um, take the time to um, assess the situation. Communication is the key. This is a fast and uh, frenetic time, and opportunities and offers come in. So it's definitely an auspicious time to travel or partake in a creative collaboration. Be inspired by talking to stimulating individuals, not these um, exploitative creeps that just um, have no other agenda about what is good for them. They are just really boring people. You need to find stimulating individuals and if you've got a journey around and change things around, this is the energy to do so, to gain your higher perspective and um, and really assess, really, really assess what, what, from a higher perspective, what it is that you're looking for and it probably isn't this narcissism, the troll, follow secret science. You will find treasures if you travel and, and look around and um, investigate. Uh, where you least expect them. So this could be hooking up with um, interesting um, people that you wouldn't otherwise talk to. Okay, so it's time to get away from these controlling creeps that have found their way into your energy field. Okay, the number eight is a time for change and infinite ending and beginnings. This is a new cycle. This is a brand new cycle. I'm just trying to get a couple more cards. Um, so I've got a six and a four, which makes a ten. Ten of swords, release. It's an ending. This is an ending, ten of swords. It's an ending. Let go of it, whatever it is. This human being that has come up in an exploitative energy, let it go. Ignore them. Ignore them. No. On the bottom of the deck I've got Child of Leaves, um, swords. It's an immature energy. This person is immature. Um, so that's um, a knight. I'm not knight. The um, oh, I forgot what it is. Page. Yeah, page of. Have a quick look at the page. Page of leaves. This is a very immature energy. This person who exploits and is selfish is very immature. Um, it says release them. It says let them go, Ten of Swords. Let them go. This immature person that's just selfish. So, uh, just to fin finish off the clarification and carry on with the reading. This person is actually intelligent. That's probably why they're getting away with it. Um, but they can be poisonous, manipulating and misleading. As a go-between, they stir up trouble cannot be relied upon to be accurate about any arrangement, gossip, slander, um, circulates, just for her, and just for entertainment, just, just for fun of it, I think this person's doing it for the, for the fun of it, five of swords, um, yeah that's conflict, that's just popped out, conflict, so you're going into a new beginning, okay, this is bullshit, whatever is going on here, the sort. Yes, conflict. This person just brings conflict. Um, it's a test of will. This person's just doing it just, just to wind people up. Mm -hmm. Just depleting you. You cannot win against this person. And it might be a cause, but it is time to walk away. This card traditionally shows oppression, humiliation and potential bullying. The outcome is clear, you can make your plans elsewhere. Okay, so this, whoever this person is, you know, it's time to ignore them, walk away. Um, so, um, let's just do a split. Um, yeah, that's the lemon skate again. That's a, that's, it's a two, but two of pentacles represents the lemon skate. Eternal, eternal energy beginning and the ending, it's all one, it just goes around and around, but it's moving, the main thing is it's moving, okay, 
I've got love on the body. Love thyself. Um, okay, so that's just um, just to clarify uh, my first uh, number one. Um, it was a little bit confusing because it went from exploitative to forgiveness. Okay, so really uh, assess the situation, make sure you've got all the information. Um, eight is about um, judgment, um, but um, gaining a faster pace or a higher perspective, uh, moving through uh, problems um, with more ease. And um, just shuffle the card and it's, it's still the ace of wands on the bottom. There's a new beginning here. There's a new beginning here. For sure. Something's starting again. Uh, let's just get the opposing energy. Um, see what came up. The full, yeah, just taking a lighter perspective um, on the matter. That one else came up. Uh, yeah, the higher font as well. Devil. <coughs> yeah, that, this person has got problems big time. Um, so the lemon skate is probably the major thing that's going on um, in this reading and um, so it appears in the magician and the strength. Okay, the strength is, is it strength? The opposing strength is a hermit. Um, so you may need some alone time. Also the two of pentacles which just came out. Two of pentacles. Oh, put it back in there. Um, and it also comes up on the Nine of Cups, Magician and Strength, the Lemonscape, uh, figure of eight. It is an, an ancient infinity symbol. It is also a kind of tarot DNA. It represents the never-ending flow of energy created by tension between two opposite poles. So if you've got somebody that is causing tension, just know that, they're, that, that you can take any angle you want because it is um, a flow. So if this person is up here and you're down there and you're opposing, then you can come together and maybe part and then come together. So it's possible to change your perspective a bit. Um, so, um, all right, so if that comes up again, we will have a look. Um, so for example, the Hermit's counterpart is strength, which is what we got in the, in the part one who introduces the traditionally feminine quality of gentleness to balance the hermit's analytical masculinity. Strength is also what the hermit will need while he is alone in the wilderness. Okay, so I'm getting a real juxtaposition in here from this energy. It's probably to do with the um, eclipse. Yeah. It's probably to do with the moon blocking out the sun. Because the sun is a power source and the moon is um, a feminine energy and the moon managed to block out the masculine power source. So uh, consistent, consistency. The sun is the consistent energy that we rely on, and the, and the moon managed to block it out. And the moon is just, um, a, you know, very minusculely small a celestial body managed to completely block out the sun. So even the smallest um, hint of forgiveness is going to grow uh, in your life, in your heart. So it is, it, it, it is an incredibly difficult journey to forgive people that have betrayed you, but. Uh, Great Spirit is very um, uh, evident here that Great Spirit wants you to start trying to take this journey towards forgiveness and forgiving your own heart to ascend to a higher level of spirituality.